For those that don't hunt, it might at first seem odd that a hunter can both love and admire an animal while simultaneously wishing to hunt it. The reality is that for hunters, the affection is towards the species as a whole and not the individual. And they shoot them, yeah, suppressors are beautiful. It's great, no recoil on the gun. You couldn't have asked for better weather. The best hunter is therefore one who has a sound appreciation that careful and selective culling is a fundamental requirement in achieving the betterment of the overall herd. It is a tribute to some grounds where deer have been managed and selectively culled for generations that the deer have been improved to such an extent that the deer evolve through selection into truly awesome specimens. Indeed, the reality why, in many park environments, the deer are so magnificent is not due to the fact that they are left to live out their lives in apparent Disney World harmony, but instead because there has been an ongoing, selective and careful cull of weak animals. The ability to see the big picture and to recognise what is good for the herd is an essential quality of those that are charged with deer management. This month, we visit one such ground where this simple, inescapable logic has resulted in some of the largest, most impressive stags anywhere in the world. Deer are, of course, prey species. And in the UK, with its absence of apex predators, the job of the deer manager is to replicate the role of the absent lynx and wolf. Predators that naturally prey upon the weak. Whilst much of the cull is therefore of inferior animals, it would also be both unnatural and inhumane to allow an aging stag to linger and descend into a spiral of decline. Instead, it is both kinder to the animal and more beneficial to the estate to shoot the beast while it can still provide a valuable income, an income that in turn is used to bring along the next generation. Given the opportunity to take one such animal today is Joe, an experienced hunter who acknowledges the rare privilege of being able to hunt one of these iconic animals. After a tricky approach, a steady and confident aim is required and Joe manages his nerves well in placing a shot just behind the shoulder at 175 metres. It is larger calibres that are required for such immense beasts and here the 150 grain bullet from the Seiko 308 does the job of quickly and humanely dispatching this magnificent beast in its natural environment. Where did you hit him, Joe? Just, 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 just above the shoulder. It felt good. You could hear that bullet hit him. Yeah. It, was, it looked like a good solid strike. And he, he didn't run more than 30 meters. No. 175 meters. 170 meters. Yeah, beautiful animal. I want to thank him for it. So, Joe, you're keeping the heart from this one, are you? Yep. Um, you traditionally will make a, a hard tartare, really finely chopped, uh, capers, shallots, little sherry vinegar, salt, pepper, um, and it's just beautiful. Mix it all together, um, get it really cold, um, and then fresh capers back on top. It's perfect. The rest of the animal will then go off to the larder to be enjoyed by countless consumers as a healthy, wild, sustainable, and non-intensively farmed source of meat. So, Joe, well done. Thank you very cracking much. Cracking shooting, mate. Well Appreciate done. Appreciate it. I'm delighted for you. Absolute cracking beast, this one, isn't it? Thank you. It's not often you get to see a uh, red stag of this quality. It's not just about the individual. This is about the betterment of the species. And it's an absolute privilege to be here on a ground which is managed so well, where it's producing beasts of this quality. And to take out one like this is a rare privilege at the end of his life. Carefully monitored what we take off this ground. And uh, to be able to get a beast like this is absolutely cracking. Your first one in the UK first as well. First one in the UK, it's beautiful, and I, I am very much appreciative. It was amazing. No, it's absolutely fabulous shooting. Thank you very much. Well I really done, appreciate Joe. It. Congratulations. Yeah. It's a fabulous beast. Thank the club. The Capriotas Club and County Deer Stalking is committed to the environment by a climate focused diet and to the betterment of species through the careful selection of sustainable wild animals. 
To find out more about County Tears Talking and the Capriolis Club, call 0203 981 0159 or email info at countydeerstalking.co.uk.